I'm going to show you real quick how to run a Cohen's Kappa Interrater Reliability Test in SBSS. So the setup here is, let's pretend that you are a teacher for a speech class. But you have two TAs that you have in the back room. And you're going to have the TAs rate the, the student, there's 20 of them, on how well they did the speech, right? 10 was perfect and 1 was really, really bad. So, right, so you got Raider 1 and Raider 2, right? So TA1 and TA2, and then hopefully they agree. So, the, and then again, the ID is the student at their rating. So we're going to see how well these guys agree using the Kappa test. So we're going to go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and we're going to go to Cross Tabs. And we're going to stick Raider 1 in Row 1, Raider 2 in Column 1. Very important, SPSS can only compare two raters at a time. So if you've got more than two raters, let's say you got four raters, then you have to run multiple Kappa tests on there. One versus two, one versus three, one versus four, two versus three, two versus four, three versus four, et cetera, et cetera. Right? You gotta do them separately. But you're gonna put them in here, you're gonna go to statistics, you're just gonna click the Kappa, click OK. And cells, I think we're just going to get the percentages just to, just to see what's going on there. Click continue, and then we're going to go ahead and click OK. And so this is our results table. we got 20 people. They're all there. Nobody's missing, so that's good. And let's scroll down to the bottom box first. This is your main output box down here. So the first thing you look at is the cap of value. 0 0.093 which is no good and it's not significant so if it's not significant what that really means is that there was like a t-test ran between the test statistic for the kappa test which is 0 0.093 against the number zero so this is saying that there's no significant difference between this kappa test statistic and zero and a kappa test statistic of zero means that you got about a 50 50 chance that they're in agreement, which is terrible odds, right? It's the same odds as flipping a coin. So let me pull up a table that shows you the agreement strength for the Cohen's value. So yours was, this one was 0 0.093. The best we could call it would be a slight level of agreement, but it wasn't significant, so it could have been no agreement. So that's really, really bad. But here's the numbers. You basically want a higher... The higher the kappa test statistic, the more level of agreement. So anything anything above 0.5 is considered good. And we did not get that here. So that is bad news. In other words, these two don't agree. I'm going to get a different data set and then run that one to show you what a, a strong agreement will look like. So hold on. So I added a couple more raters. Let's just pretend there were four TAs in this class. It was an important teacher. So now we're gonna we're gonna run a Cohen's Kappa between Raider three and four. So we're gonna go up to let's get them up here, right? We're gonna go to analyze, descriptives, cross tabs, and out with these guys, and then end with three and four. Hopefully these these two raiders are more in sync. And we're going to go to statistics. Cap is already checked. And I think we clicked the percentages. And we didn't even look at them, so I don't even care about them. Okay, then we're going to click OK. And so here's Raider 3 and 4's comparison. And let's go down to the bottom box down here. Pull you up a little bit so you can see it. And this is significant, right? 0.019 is less than 0.05. Therefore... The value, the kappa test statistic of 0.167 is significantly different than zero. But again, it's not very strong, right? It is kind of, it's still slight. Pulling up this bad boy, 0.167 is still slight. So let me do this one more time and see if I can't get that a little bit higher. All right, last group. I added two new Raiders, five and six. And I'm looking at them. They're pretty close. Nine and eight, three and three, one and one, four, four, two, two. There are some differences in there, eight and nine. So these guys should have a high 
Kappa score. So let's let's let the software do the heavy lifting. Analyze descriptive statistics, cross tabs, and out with three and four, and in with five and six. And then statistics, Kappa is already checked. And let's just click OK. Now scroll on down to the Pizza Hut. And it is significant, right? So that means that the Kappa test statistic is significantly different from zero, which is good. And it's above zero, which is good. And it is 0.594. And according to our chart, 0.594 is almost 0.6. So it's almost substantial, right? So these Raiders 5 and 6 agree very, very strongly. That's what this is. All right, so I hope that helped. MGZ, out.